Hey everybody, I'm Bill, that food guy from Texas, and this video is actually a collaboration video with Army Cat. Uh, Army Cat lives up in New England. The link to his YouTube channel is right down here. Be sure and hit subscribe and like to his, as well as mine. But anyway, we were thinking, Army Cat really likes hot sauces and things like that. So, it made me wonder, is the hot sauce and sauces from Texas hotter than the ones in New England? Or has New England surprised us and made hotter sauces? So in order to try this, we're going with sauces that are made local to our area. So, for instance, he is going to be sending me some salsa from New England, and I am sending him salsa from Texas. So, what better way to get him in the mood for Texas salsa than Julio's? And I'm going to be nice and also send in some Julio's seasoned chips. If you are from Texas, you know all about that. If you're not, we'll put a little link in uh, about Julio's chips as well. So let me go box this up and get it in the mail to him. And I can't wait to see what he sends for me. Okay, hi. So today, this video is going to be a special video. It's going to be a collaboration with Bill Tyler, and if you haven't seen his content, he makes the best food review videos. Go subscribe to him, he's amazing. And also, so, what he did was he sent, he sent in for his collaboration video, uh, hot sauce and chips. I already opened the package, of all the, not a package, but a box that, that he sent in. I even came with this note. I'll read it. And this will be a pretty long video. But I'm going to give you a review on this. And I'm going to try them. So, first we've got the salsa. And it's Julio's Home Style Hot Salsa. And I also got some chips. I got Corn tortilla chips, original seasoned, and first, um, this, I really like the packaging, I like the red on us, and I like how it has all those vegetables and stuff. So, the ingredients are tomatoes, tomato juice, salt, citric acid, Calcium chlorinate, uh, I think that's uh, salt, um, jalapeno peppers, monosodium, which that must be a different time, type of salt, uh, and uh, glutamate, salt, spices, citric acid. Okay, so first, I'm gonna. I open it. it. Smells peppery. And also these chips. They're seasoned. Ooh. Pretty well packaged. Mmm, it's really good. I don't know what I'm tasting. Kind of has like a garlicky aftertaste, which I really enjoy. I think the taste of the tortilla chips really is good. I'm going to try it dipped into here. Into the salsa. Have a nice scoop. Mmm. Yeah, they really go well together. It's nice and peppery. It smells peppery. 
don't know if you can see this camera, it's right here. But I really like this. And in this, I read this before I filmed this video. It, they did say that this bag was iconic, being yellow. And yeah. So, it's pretty good. And uh, I don't know if there's anything I wouldn't like about this. So, Pranch, it's perfect. And, uh, yeah. This was sent in from Texas. And, yeah, this is pretty good. I'm gonna try another. Mmm. Yeah, so. If I were to rank it from 0 to 10, I'd, I'd give this a uh, 10 out of 10. Which, um. According to this, it was made by someone who owned, uh, like, the steakhouse. And, um, actually, before I filmed this video, I was reading this, and I was gonna have a different video, but the video cut out at a certain part, and what happened was, I was, I was, like, reading it, and, uh, and I only made it to, like, the certain point where I was saying, Something about this guy, and he owned like this steakhouse. And uh, when I owned this like steakhouse, it's like a really busy evening, and like it's really frustrated. But like that's the only part I got to. I'm gonna need to read the rest, and I'm gonna do a uh, part two to this. Okay, bye. Also, before I end this video, um. Go subscribe to Bill Tyler's channel, and I'm going to send him in a hot sauce from Maine, which is the, the state that I live in. Okay, bye. Alright, so through the magic of YouTube, Army Cat has already received his package, and seems to have really liked the Julio's chips and salsa. Um, I have got his package, actually packages, and... I'm anxious to try things. So he did kind of send a couple extra things and wow, <laughs> man, thank you. Check this out, people. Maple syrup from New England. This is like $5,000 a bottle here in Texas. Well, maybe not quite that much, but um, I think he is trying to step up his A game and wants to win. He sent me some chips from New England. These are Meninas. And says, uh, basically in 2011, they opened up the tortilla bakery in New England that authentically produces tortilla chips from true corn masa. Uh, this is because his wife was unable to get anything like she was used to getting in Mexico. So these are going to be tested. And he sent the salsas from Stonewall Kitchen, established in 1991. Let's open up this bad boy and see what we got. All right, so we have got a packing slip. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. Let's set that aside here. Alright, and within the box, packed very well by the way, thank you Stonewall Kitchen and thank you Army Cat. We got another box. Too bad I can't pop these things, but oh well. They'll get reused, I'm sure. Alright, so... Home Garden Gifts Specialty Foods, uh, visit us at stonewallkitchen.com. That is not an affiliate link. Neither of us make any money on that. So if you want to check them out, check them out. All right. Give me a second here. Okay. And within the box, we have a couple of jars. First jar is ooh, ghost pepper jelly. 
Wow. That's going to make my morning toast a little more interesting. And, oh, and we have fire roasted salsa. Now, this looks pretty good. Look at the... Here, we'll do it this way. See all the seeds and everything like that in there. Nice, good looks like. Uh, let's see what we have in it. A lot of times these are getting... Uh, this ingredient list are a little too small for my eyes now. Uh, red bell peppers, fire roasted tomatoes. Yeah, I can't read it all. I'm sorry. They just make these a little too small nowadays. Anyway, it does look good. So let's rank these things. I'll do them on a 1 to 10 scale. 10 being burned in my mouth. I drank all my ice water hot. And one being what flame? All right. So, man, I'm looking forward to this one, but I'm going to do the Julio's first. So let me grab my Julio's chips because you got a pair of Julio's salsa with Julio's chips. And this is the standard hot ingredients in this. Eh, heck, he already told you. All right, listen for the pop. Ooh. And Army Cat's right, man. This has got a really good smell to it. Now, it is a little thin on top. So I'm going to take and just kind of... Take my chip and kind of stir it around a little bit. Now, normally I would just pour this into a little uh, little dish and eat up, eat the salsa from the dish. But yeah, I won't double dip. I promise. All right. So we got a good amount. Like I said it is a little runny. I personally like something a little thicker, but you know, you do what you do. All right, so if you're not from Texas and you've never had Julio's, these are some of the best seasoned chips I've ever had. The salsa, you can taste the different flavors. Get a little bit of heat, not much. Go one more time here. It's actually early and this is before my coffee, so you guys better appreciate this. Kind of cleanse the palate. Ah, yeah, that ice water is good. All right, so honestly, the Julio's hot salsa isn't extremely hot in my opinion. On a scale of one to ten for a heat factor. I would say maybe a five or a six, if that. The chips are a little, uh, you do get the seasoning, you do taste, taste that salt, a little bit of the garlic on it. But overall, this is something that would be great. Just hanging out, watching a movie, whatever. Salsa and chips. Really good. All right. Get a little more. The, the sauce isn't hot, it's just the after effects of the seasoning kind of leave your mouth dry. Alright, so. <coughs> By the way, this is made from volcanic, volcanic stone ground corn. Um, and this says you need scissors. Uh-oh. 
Well, I don't have scissors with me, but I've got my box knife, so let's try that. Okay. So that got me pretty close. And these are, for those who are watching, this is non-GMO certified. Verified, I'm sorry. All right. So the chips. Oh, you know, and I forgot to do that with the Julios. Hold on a second. Here. Okay. So here's the difference between the chips. Uh, you can tell both of them are corn. This one looks darker. Could be just the seasoning on them. Uh, these appear to be unseasoned. So these will be your standard corn ground tortilla chips. All right. Now let's grab a taste here. Wow. Now these are seasoned, if I would actually pay attention, it says agua, jalapeno aguave, a little heat, a little sweet. Now I'm not tasting any heat on those, but you do get the little sweet, and a little sweet's actually really good. Now, as far as the sweetness, it is not what you'd find, say, with the churro or some cinnamon chips, cinnamon sugar chips. It's just a small little hint. All right, let me get a little water here. All right, so Stonewall Kitchen Fire Roasted Salsa. Let's hear that little pop. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Did I get any on my nose? I hope not. Man, all right. So it doesn't smell, you can't smell heat, but you definitely smell those fire roasted tomatoes. And this is really thick. All right, so I'll take a small chip here just to show you kind of the thickness. Let's see if you can see that. Now, some of you are going to be freaked out by the color. Don't worry about that. It didn't come from a baby's diaper. But on the chip, this is actually the, the way I like to eat salsa. Nice and thick. You can see the chunks on the chip. It's not going to fall off, run in your shirt. All right, here we go. Now, you know what? All right, so you get a little heat from this. Ugh. I think it's cleared up my allergies for eating these salsas this morning. So you get a little bit of a sting as it kind of slides down. That is a really good salsa. And with these chips, that little sweetness from the chips is just a perfect complement for this salsa. Mm. Wow. Army Cat, I'm impressed. You did good. 
I'm going to reach over and try that with uh, one of my Julio's chips here. Because you know you're going to get a different sensation because the Julio's is more of a garlic and salt versus the sweetness of the other. So, final thoughts, Julio's salsa and chips have been a Texas tradition since, what, about 1970? The Menina chips and the fire roasted salsa from Stonewall Kitchen, man, this is a great combination. As far as heat, I would say the fire roasted salsa is just a little bit hotter than the Julio's hot. But this chip and dip combination, or this chip and salsa combination, man, this is, mm, 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 this is going to be one of my new favorites. Thank you, Army Cat. I would say on a heat factor, we'll put this one at about a six. Mmm. Man, this made my day. And I would imagine this combination will be gone by the weekend. And it's Thursday. So, thumbs up. Excellent combination. An excellent combination. <laughs>